Sports betting has rapidly risen in popularity, and we want to connect you all with an opportunity to get started or get ahead. Having multiple sportsbook accounts is the most simple way to maximize your profits, and there has never been a better time to sign up. When you visit our page, betstamp.app slash footyculture, you'll be connected to all the sportsbooks in your region, along with a review of each platform and its unique benefits. All of these sportsbooks have valuable sign-up offers for new users, and when you register through our link, you will automatically receive the top offer at each one. When you use multiple sportsbooks, you ensure that you can always access the best available odds, which is key to successful sports betting. If you want to take advantage of these benefits and support our brand, please consider signing up for your next sportsbook at betstamp.app slash footyculture. Now let's get into the episode. What's good, Footy Culture fam? My name is Matthews, aka Matt, aka Matosinho, and today, people today, coming at you on another episode of the Footy Culture Podcast. You, once again, joined today by Dave. Que pasa, amigo? Que pasa, man? All good. All good. Always man, like good. Dan. Always blessed. How's it going, everyone? How's it going, everyone? What's up? What's up? Man, like James. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. <laughs> bueno, Cristóforo. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Cheers. What are you drinking there, bro? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are you choking on more like? <coughs> oh shit, that's awesome. Jay, how's it going? What up, guys? How's guy's, it going? Guys, hitting a club tonight. <laughs> you look you good, know man. You look good, man. Different like, shades every podcast, huh? Happy to be here. Let's go. Happy to hear it. But not uh, speaking of happy, Canadian fans weren't too happy with uh, the result the other night. Ended up losing two nil to rivals US. In the finals of the Nations League. With players missing <laughs> for the U.S. With key players missing for the U.S. Yeah. Kenny, Dest. That's someone crazy. else too, I believe, right? A couple there, was, there was a third. I can't remember Rob, the third one. Robinson. Yeah, Robinson. There you go. Robinson. Adams was in there either. Tyler Adams. Oh, yeah. Is this uh, this Canada hype going down? Is this the downfall of Canada? Surely. No. I think this is like their best chance to win a trophy. In- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like a long time. I don't. I can't see it happening anytime soon now. This was their best chance, bro. They fumbled it, especially, poor. especially like after coming, uh, you know, beating them, beating the states in the in the in those qualifiers. games, in the qualifiers, right? But, and we and we beat them decisively as well. Like they're they're good games from us. Nice Teka. But that was like a, that was a couple. That was a year ago. <laughs> yeah. But they're roughly around the same players in the squad. Yeah. But like, yeah, but we're getting, I feel like I feel like we haven't like. Since since qualifying to the World Cup to like today, it's kind of just plateaued. I don't I haven't seen any improvement. Like I would I think say worse. No, no, might not say worse. Okay, but like we consistently remain. I haven't seen like big like the players haven't really stepped up. There's not really big big movements from the, some of these players or like hey like you know what since then Laren had a great season. Since then Buchanan had a great season. You know Davies performed crazy during Bayern, which he didn't have a great season at all. Like he just played played well, but like wasn't consistent. I think he was injured for most of the time too. The the only player that you kind of see improvement from was probably Ikone. Yeah. And like, that's just because he's able to control the midfield like that. And then he obviously is a player who's developing still. And he's obviously playing in a, in a, in a team where obviously the growth needs to continue coming because it's obviously they're playing championship now. So there obviously wasn't many eyes from the world there, but he's definitely one of the players that you kind of see improving just because he's younger. He's still developing his craft. As a midfielder, you see him touch the ball a lot more. But a lot of potential. Besides that, it's just kind of been this flat. The defense has been, like, same. We we thought Miller was doing a great job in the World Cup, but since then, like, moved to Miami, okay. They're in last place. Yeah. Right? Okay, great. He gets to play with Messi next season. but And then you have U.S. U.S. where they're getting new players, like Bulligan, who's, like, had a great season. Is, how do you pronounce the name? Balligan. 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 Great season in the, in the Liga, right? And Pulisic still cooks for the U.S., right? And the rest of the players, like, they're still, like, they still play with heart, which, I don't know. It's it's really, you saw it yesterday. What did you see, Jay? What did you see yesterday? I saw one of the worst Canada performances I've seen. One of the worst. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Um, A lot of people on Twitter were saying the same thing. Yeah, I mean, it was it was so lackluster. Very sloppy. People were saying like touches were bad. Oh, the touches oh, were horrible. horrible. Yeah, like movement of the worst ball. Touches on the team were probably Joe David. Every single Joe David touch was heavy. Every single. One. There was a lot of memes on Twitter about Joe David and like his touches and just in general he how he played. Tips. Like he was like like 
people were saying Balogun. <laughs> no, w- Balogun was the man. It, David, who? The way it looked like, it looked like the whole team ate like a three course meal before the game. Like They're right sluggish. before it. They sluggish, had like a heavy, big pole of pasta. Like slow, like lazy. Um, it, it was it was bad. It, it wasn't good. Um, Davies was doing way too much. Like, way too much. Um, he wasn't playing simple? No, no. He wasn't making passes. He wasn't doing anything. Like, he'd get the ball. He'd try to go, like, on a... By himself. Like, a Gareth Bale-esque, like, yeah. push forward. And the ball would just go out. Yeah. Right? So, he had a r- tough game. Um, Canada starts to not step up at all. Um, but something interesting. Actually, the, the one player, I think, had an above-average game. The whole team was awful. I can't pick one player that was good, except Kone. Kone was the only guy that had a good game. Um, he was the best player by far. But something interesting, KJ, after the game, our guy, Christian Jack. My boy. Went off on yeah, one I soccer. Saw little, really? He went off. He's Ranting? like, team should be ashamed. Fans fans should be completely disappointed. Um, questions should be asked to Herdman. Like, why is Alfonso Davies playing four different positions for Canada? Like, yeah, it's true. like at Byron, he's star left back. He does his role, and then he comes to Canada. He's playing four different positions. Like, there's no consistency. Mm-hmm. No content. Like, the team selection was garbage. Um, Kennedy started yeah. over Vitoria. Yeah, for no was, reason. I thought it was weird. Didn't he get and Kennedy was awful. He got burnt by that goal, like goal. No, it's too weak, bro. Yeah, yeah. Kennedy was awful. One of the worst players on the pitch. Um, Buchanan didn't start. Damn, a little strange. It's a final. You're strange. not starting Buchanan. Buchanan's one of the only danger men on Canada that'll take on any player that comes mm-hmm. in front He's of him. He's not scared to take players on, yeah. Um, it was it was terrible to watch. One thing I'd put it to, I guess the players were scared and unprepared for the moment. I th- that simple. What I think is a key factor is this is the the way they played against their previous opponent, Panama. The way they played against Panama and the way the U.S. played against Mexico. Obviously, U.S. Mexico, you know, it's going to be a big rivalry where. No matter what, they're gonna come out of that game with whatever two, three, four goals, whatever. I think the final score was three nothing. Yeah. And like they yeah. put it all on the pitch. They, even though they lost two players with from red cards, they put it all out there and like they wanted to destroy Mexico because they know the same momentum will lead it to the finals. And they know that people there's always that talk, right? Like, oh you at Canada's the best better team in the Congo Cup right now because of the results they've had last um qualifiers. But US obviously wants to come out and prove that no, you know, we're still on top, we're still the best. We're going to keep the run of, because they won last year as well, the CONCACAF Nation, uh, Nations League. So they went to that semifinal game, like, we're winning this, we're destroying them, and we're going to go to the finals and do the same thing. Whereas against Panama, same thing. Canada was only winning 1-0 until Davies game, right? scored that one goal, which is like, okay, that's a Davies goal. And again, you're facing Panama. Like, Davies can go out and do that easily. But the thing is, he's still trying to do the same thing against a team like USA. They're two different sides. So you can't, expect a team like Canada who went to like have a field day at, at the park against Panama and then come out to the finals and face a team like in the US who was like mentally prepared. Yeah. They were like going out there and like we're winning this no matter what. Yeah. Do you think Canada's getting a little bit uh bratty? They're, no, they're getting soft. Mm. Or they're getting, they're getting too soft. over they're or they're getting hard. too overconfident. They're losing hard. I don't see them play with hard anymore. Like there's uh, every game was passion. You see that passion every time they make a tackle. Passion. So I'm would, saying these fight last every team because they're passionate about what they do. Now I see the, like something happens. It's just okay, whatever. Like we score, uh, they don't have that goal. same like chip no, on their shoulder no, that they had before. Yeah. Yeah. That's why because now like they're considered the they were now. I mean not now yeah. because the state spot them, I beat them, but like they were considered you know the best team in Concacaf, right? So yeah. it could have been like, they're too cute now. Like they're too like. We're family. Every time the game, like we're family, we're family. family. Like, like guys, we got to go out there and fucking beat these guys and like be sure, like let's go fucking destroy them. They had USA some- too. Like they have the same commodity, but like it's like we're gonna go out there, and we're gonna like get it done. And I don't know, maybe Canada's too, you know, like or one team or one this, but one this. But when it goes on the field, when there's field time, it looks like there are like 10, 11 different guys playing. There's no like connection. There's no like thing. But after the game, everyone's hugging. Everyone's together. I don't know. It could be also the management just making poor decisions, right? So. I also heard uh, our goalie was playing, played a rough game, and people are calling for his uh, his exit. You guys agree? Yeah, man, it's time to bring in some new blood. Like Borian's what, thirty seven years old already? <laughs> yeah. Past few games haven't been the best. And- the, the goal of Balogun scored like it was a nice goal, but it was right at him. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if maybe someone younger would have done better, but 
Uh, bring in the new generation, yeah. man. Let Dane St. Clair get some minutes. Let yeah. start now, man. Another senior, uh, our boy Atiba Hutchinson, uh, gave his farewells. Yeah. Retired after the game. Before the game, actually, I believe, right? I mean, it would have been proper to send him off with, yeah, that, dude. with oh, well. that win, I right? Think, I think that alone cool. should have given them so much more passion and more drive. Like, they should have went out there, like, hard. Did he? He didn't start, did he? No, no. Nah, he he came play. on though. No, he didn't play at all. No, there's no need to. He's not no. a player to come on the pitch and do that. Bro, though, but like. give him like five minutes at least. No. What to lose on his last game? They're <laughs> losing already, anyways. Yeah, I can bring him on to. It's his last game. What's I gonna do for him coming on? Let him go on. Let him enjoy the moment at least. That last team on the field. It. You think uh, he's gonna enjoy it more on the bench? Yeah, but yeah, man, probably. at this point, it's already, well, it was maybe one nothing, 2 nothing. Like, you kind of want to go out there and still kind of get a result while well, you wanted to come in the last nine, two seconds of the game. That's maybe a bit more Play him DM and let everyone attack. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know, man. I mean, it's not the worst thing. Canada got to a final. Obviously, they lost to the rival of the U.S., but it's tough because their best players didn't perform. If their six best players, like Davies, David, Laren, Buchanan, whatever, Buchanan if they're performing, the pitch for half the game, if they're performing, is- it's a different game. You know what I mean? They were just off today. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, hey, the uh, U.S. players showed up. The U.S.'s best player is like Balogun. Mm-hmm. New, new uh, U.S. lad scored. Pulisic yeah. had a good game. Reina had Reina. two assists, subbed off at halftime injury. But, like, he made an impact, right? Like, and I think that's, like, the big thing. Like, in the middle of the park, like, Canada just didn't have that mm. impactful player in the middle of the park. We have crazy wingers that can, you know, take players on and, and use their speed. But, like, that creativity, right? That creativity in the middle of the park sometimes is what you need in a game like this to kind of just unlock the other team. And, and, you know, sometimes you can do it on the wing, but if your wing players get neutralized, and like you know, you're playing in the middle of the park to Joe David, but like you said, his touches were heavy. He wasn't able to kind of control that ball and, and take control of the game. Sometimes you need that player in that like kind of ten or like advanced eight role to kind of just take over the game. And they just didn't have anyone in this one. Did Junior Hoylet, Hoylet was yeah, he, <laughs> he didn't do it right. Like it's. No. I think it also shows like the. Okay, sure, Canada had a great run, the World Cup, but I think there's still. A gap Way, lot, lot, lot. in terms of depth. Like, yeah, I think star less, player yeah. wise, I think you know Canada has you know great star players, but in terms of depth, like after those first three or four guys on Canada, like there's a huge tail off. Yeah. In terms of quality for the next few, whereas U.S., I think like there's more of a, a lot of depth, more of an even, yeah. even it's, kind of it's more even spread mm-hmm. across the, across the roster, right? It's tough, and we don't have a replacement for Vitoria. And, and that's done. That's a big thing. Because, like, Kennedy, I don't think you can play Kennedy, Alistair, and Kamal Miller in the same lineup. You're playing a three-back. Two of those guys are left-footed, right? Because Kamal and Kennedy are both left-footed. And they're, they're both, I think, better suited for that left-sided role. Like, I don't think they're commanding enough or experienced enough or, or maybe confident enough to play that center-center-back role. Like, Vitoria, sure, he's a little bit older, but, like, he commands that position well. Smart. Sure, he's not the quickest guy, but he makes he steps at the right time. He's confident. He's composed. He'll win everything in the and air. And when he came on into the game, he was actually decent. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. Like, do you guys think that there was maybe some errors in the in the team selection? 100%. Solid. 100%. You, you know there's errors in, like, the selection of the tactics when mid-game, like... Fonzi switches with Richie Wings, then they're switching back. Then they're switching again. When when Kennedy starts at center center back, and then like second half, like mid second half, Left they center put back. Kamal Miller center center back. Yeah. It's tough. Um it's taken a while, but I'm Herdman out. Wow. Damn. Really? Yeah. Now you are? Yeah. Dude, I've been on that for a minute now. <laughs> yeah, but Herdman out for who? That's the thing. Like, it's tough. Like, yeah, when, when you pose it like that, it's tough. Because, like, who's going to come in and do the job? I can't answer that. I don't really have any options on my plate right now. Mm-hmm. But he he got it so wrong in the final. Team selection, tactics, everything. Even just, like, even roster selection. Just, I don't know. I'm... <sighs> I love what he did, and I think he does deserve the chance to show um, what he can do with this team. But do I think he's the guy to bring us to the top top? Um, Maybe not. No. But that's my take. It's true, though, because you can see that I feel like the players made him look good. Like, we have great players to compete with. 
<clears throat> the second half of the, the like not even the second half, like the other teams in the CONCACAF. Mexico is is a, is a poor team now. Like they're literally just like they're they're washed. They're washed team now. They just sacked their manager as well recently. Yeah. After the loss against Mexico, uh, U.S. Besides U.S., yeah, that's pretty much our own competition in the in the, in the whole division, the whole in the whole and whole continent. Like that's why maybe the players made Herdman look good because they're like all star players. They can go and compete against Jamaica, Panama, Costa Rica, and all these yeah. smaller s- nations. Whereas. When it comes down to it, you want to come b- face big teams, the World Cup, any other competition, Japan, we face, we face Uruguay too, right? Before the World Cup. Do we get results from that? No. So when it comes down to it, like if you want to get results against big teams, you see the right guy? I don't think so. And maybe it, it may come down to the players that we have available as well, but if you can't, I don't know. We He seemed like he got it right the, the last time we faced US, but this time it was obviously completely wrong. Yeah. I don't know if you could fully blame Herdman though. Like the players weren't up to par. You have like two super informed strikers in David and Laren doing absolutely nothing. Well, you can't get you their can't shots off. Laren though. David David, yeah. Laren. No, Laren's in great form. Well, he scored four goals. Yeah. All of last season. Ooh. Yeah. Laren. Oh. No. How many goals did he score? Like four. Seven, he was one of like the like he played half the season. Yeah, with he was almost a relegation team that got relegated. By the, yeah, but yeah, he, he came in what, January. Ball. He came in January, but like he he did bits. Like he scored, I think, almost double digit goals in La Liga. Oh, and wasn't Joe sure. David like second or like third uh, yeah, top no, scorer in Liga? Joe, Joe David for sure, of course. But again, you don't expect strikers to go out there carry the ball from half. You know, he got eight goals the and game. eight goals and three assists. Pretty solid in half the solid season. for half the again, season. Strikers can't do it by themselves. It's not like yeah. they. It's not like they had missed chances. They were, there was no much creativity there. Yeah, hundred percent. Laren missed the sitter. Long pass last night. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think the, the. I don't think it should be fully blamed on Herdman. It could be Herdman out just because he. He's. I don't know. The the way they've been playing the past couple of games, it looks like he lost the locker room a little bit. Not to say that he can't get it back. But I do think there has to be a change of faces in this this team a little bit. You think he's being too nice? It, it's it's like being repetitive now with the same players. So like same as like like Borian as as one of them. Like he's probably not. He's probably shouldn't be there anymore. He's he's old. Hutchinson's on his way out. He's out. Yeah, yeah uh, he is out. Yeah, Vitoria is get, is gonna be out. They gotta find a replacement, which is gonna have to force Herdman's hand to find a replacement because I don't think Kennedy's the replacement. He's he can't be. He's not. He's not. Who else do we have? He's not good. He's gotta. Go, he's gotta have to find. He's a, gonna have to find uh, some player from a different country. Yeah, there's, there's gonna have to be players that that the, he's gonna have to rotate in and out of the squad to figure out a new system because this system obviously isn't working anymore. He's gonna have to find something to fire up the boys again. But I do think that he could get this candidate to reform again. But if he doesn't soon, he will probably lose a job. Little too little too late though, man. Too little, too late. Possibly. So, what are the expectations for the Gold Cup then? Because Gold Cup is here, right, in the U.S. and Canada and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, no, I'm getting I'm getting Gold Cup and uh, and um, so they're really kind of confused because they're participating in that too, right? Next year, Copa America. Copa America. So, like, like sure, give them the chance. Maybe the Gold Cup. Yeah. Should they make the finals? And then if is they that- if they don't make the finals. Like you should, you should make the finals. Is it that, depends on the run. If, they, if if they get US early, is that what you expect? You, you should get the finals. You expect them making the finals? They, should, like yeah. a, they have their their B team pretty much called up for the Gold Cup. Ooh. Yeah, Canada. Yeah, but I'm sure the US do as well. Like yeah. all the teams are going to bring their 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 B team. So you're not going to have maybe your star star guys, but it's a lot of talent. It's a good opportunity for you to maybe find that player that can you know step up and maybe be that next impact player for the main team. No, yeah, for sure. Tejan did the same thing right. in 2021. Uh, yeah. No Davies or David in the squad. No one knew who Tejan was. He, he came in and cooked. Yeah. That's what they need. Maybe I'll get called up then. I mean, Canada have a pretty like weak group, so they should definitely make it out of the group. The thing is, like, how far will they go? Because they have Cuba, <laughs> Guatemala, and then a to-be-determined uh, team still in their group. to be determined. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a weak group. I think... Semi-finals has to be for sure. Minimum. If it's not semis, then it has to be a sack. It's a failure. It's a sack. Yeah. It's a sack. Yeah, I would agree. I think no. if they don't get to the finals, then he's getting sacked. Even, yeah. Even if yeah. it's semis? Yeah. What if they lose semis to like USA? That's the, that's the discussion. Yeah, yeah if they lose to US, uh, he'll... If they lose the semifinals against a team that won, okay. Yeah. 
But you have to go to the but, finals. But it has to be like a challenge, though. Like, oh, don't sure. get killed. For sure. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Then you can't go into Sudamericana. <laughs> oh, no, you know, we'll give them this chance as well. At that point, it's too late. 2026 is around the corner. Like, you're going to bring the same guy into 2026, or you're going to find someone late into 2025 to, like, find someone to, like, replace yeah. him. But this is at his that chance point, At that point, out. you're like... And at that point, like, these players who are now still trying to get their rhythm in it, they're going to start hitting their primes. And at that point, like, you have one of the best teams in Canada's history. Like, from what we got now, and maybe two, three, four years from now, like, it's going to be hopefully way, way better. Right? Yeah, so because... Realistically, Team Canada women's sack tournament. I don't. I don't think anyone really thought that they were going to get any better, and they ended up getting and they better. They did, man. So, never know. Yeah. That's yeah, a big point. <laughs> That's a big point too. True. That's but a big point. Speaking of managerial switches, a big one in the news is that tell me, Carlo Ancelotti will be appointed Brazil manager in 2024 dude were we big. talking about this a while ago yeah. yeah we and it came to fruition huh yeah big uh big news for sure in the football world it's huge well will brazil or will carlo no. take brazil to the 2026 world cup trophy Homa hexa didn't you, you didn't you uh, make a post or make a video about this before a couple months ago he what did. was the reaction to that what were people it. saying disgusted disgusted are you still disgusted my thoughts yeah. Have they, changed? Uh, Have they changed? Sorry? Have Say your it. thoughts changed from last time? Uh, no. My, okay. my thoughts are the same. Um, if you guys missed the thoughts, basically I said that it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing that Brazil have to appoint an Italian manager, their biggest rivals in football history, um, to bring them to this said promised land. Um, it's, it's a bit of a disgrace, to be honest. Um, and, like, let's say, let's say Ancelotti does, like, win us the World Cup. Like, obviously, I'm gonna be ecstatic. Like, and I'm not hating on Ancelotti at all. He's yeah, yeah. he's one of my. He's probably my top. He's probably my second top manager all the time. Second or third. Who's your right? first? He's up there, like b between like Sir Alex and um, true, true. and Carlo. Pep. Um, Pep. Yeah, Pep. He's in there. Mourinho. Mourinho. Yeah, th those guys. Yeah, he's up there for me. But yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, like let's say Ancelotti does bring Brazil to the promised land. Obviously, I'm gonna be ecstatic, uh, but um, at the same time, I'm gonna hear. From the Ita my Italian <laughs> counterparts, oh, an Italian had to win the World Cup for you guys. It's like, <laughs> bro, all you have to do is this. No, no, but like, but like, Man. but like, it. But at the same time, I'm gonna be like, you right. But okay, and it wouldn't your counter argument be like, it's crazy that a manager like Ancelotti did not would wouldn't even go in and coach your Italian nation and came to coach. I don't think he was asked. Brazil instead. Uh, I think if Carlo was asked, he'd take the Italy job. Yeah, I think so think so but yeah. if, but why as would, but as would, but as a manager like Ancelotti who goes into teams knowing that he can probably find success with them because they're big teams that he goes to yeah don't you think he has a better chance of winning a trophy international trophy with Brazil over Italy no for sure so he is a manager who yeah he's Italian but he is a manager he who also likes to, who likes to have a good resume behind them so okay. if, if I'm a manager that won all these leagues won almost every single trophy in Europe Champions League whatever and now I'm going to an international and I'm winning all these trophies for a national team like Brazil. Obviously, they're a big side, but it's been a couple of years now since they won, a, a, obviously, a World Cup. A it, it, would look good, it would look good for him over Italy, maybe. Better chance. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't say that means he's rejecting the Italy job. Yeah, I agree. It, I just, it wasn't asked. I don't, I don't think... I don't know how you would react. To, I think he likes his uh, flary wingers. The lead doesn't have too many of those. So no, I what mean, do you mean? A any man, any manager <laughs> would salivate at the Brazil job. Yeah, any Pep wants to coach Brazil. Yeah. Like any, right? Like so, him taking the job is not some like whoa. Like I, if they ask me, I'm taking. It. If they ask, if they ask Mourinho, he'll take it. Any manager will take this job. No, am I wrong? But yeah, no, but then at that point, won't you say it's an honor for him to like accept it? Because at that point, like, the fact that Brazil... No, because any manager would accept it. it but doesn't change no, but the Brazil went to him. Yeah, over but else. it doesn't change his argument, though. But Jay's, I feel like Jay's argument is only because the Italians in our area would probably just chirp him. No, if, if it was a port It's not about the chirping. If it's a Portuguese manager, I'd have the same thing. If it's a... Croatian if it's manager. If it's a German manager, Israel. like, I'd say the same thing. Imagine if I had a German manager. Like, what? Like... It makes no sense. But, but, but we have. But isn't no, he, but, like, but that's my thing. My, that's my question. Isn't he, he? Isn't he like like 
not even like a little bit better. He's like probably ten times better than the next Brazilian cup manager. Hundred percent, bro. No, hundred percent. I so n- never disagreed with that. But don't you want to win? Of course, I want to win. So then, but like, that, you gotta take. Sometimes you gotta like, take sacrifices. But like, it's that same kind of thing as like, like oh, like I don't know, like KD going to the Warriors. Like it's like a cheap way out. Like cheap way out. It is, and, and again, cheap for who? And again, you guys this, haven't want anything in a while. I say the same thing every time. This isn't club football where you could just do whatever you want. This is international football with international allegiances, with national pride, and we're hiring our biggest rivals' top manager. So, do you think it, it's it should be, not coming? Do you think it should be illegal for like teams to hire out of their country, like no, that the Brazilian? No, Brazilian? because that, then it's like a gray area. Like, oh, like I don't expect Iran to have an Iranian manager. But why like, not? Because no. they don't have quality managers. So and they're also, but they're also, but exactly. they're also a small footballing nation. They should be. They should have pride on their in their. In their no, but that's different. Continue. You need a top level manager to go to a small developing nation like that to bring up the football, which is why Canada should hire a foreign manager in that yep. sense. I but not that. Brazil. We're five time world champions. It's been a long time since you guys won, though. This is our first foreign manager ever, and and this is one of our best squads since like oh two. Mm, I agree with you. Is it though? I don't think any. I mean, of th- is it? Look who we have on the team. Yeah, I don't think any of the top like thirty nationality teams should have. Well, okay, not thirty. Twenty should have managers outside of their country. Why? You think? I don't even think they have, should have players. I don't even like 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 Italy especially. Like I don't think they have players from outside their country. Yeah, Why? Don't get me started on the players. It's both. It goes <laughs> both ways. I mean, I think managers next level. Is it worse? I think it's worse than players. Why? I, I actually could maybe agree with that managers might be worse. Why is it worse? Because manager, it, it's almost like the manager is like the president of the team. Are you going to hire an Italian president to be the president of Brazil? How's Are you going to hire an Italian to be president of Brazil? How's it your president of your team? Because he's the leader and organizer of the team. Leader, organizer of the country, the president. It's, I think it's a little it, different. How's it different? No, I, I, everyone's with Jay. A little different. Sure. It's a president, man. How's That's it the different? Boss. You're, the, you're the boss, runner, leader of the nation slash team what's the difference you make the rules what's the difference but make, what's wrong you with you the decide, you decide the tactics or the policies what's who wrong plays, with that? who doesn't what? play what's wrong with so that? so you would want um you would want i don't know you would want a mexican to be president or prime minister of canada <laughs> anyone better than trudeau bro <laughs> yeah <it's laughs> get political now. <laughs> no but like you, you you honestly don't see what i'm trying to say no i i see but, but is matt's it argue, really that big a deal matt's argument is that as long as if, if it makes the nation makes the team better and have a better success for and if you guys win and something brings results then it is what it is but as long as you're bringing results you're getting numbers then then you should be happy so the okay, thing but is what why if, not try it okay but what if same result oh well you tried it okay but the thing, like Matthew, when Matthew told me about the announcement today, he already made his first excuse. I wasn't making excuses. He made his first excuse already. He's like, "Oh, it'd be nice if he came a little earlier." How's that make an excuse? Because because let's say Brazil don't win Copa America or World Cup, an excuse that arises: "Oh, he didn't have enough time to build his team." But is it Not is it is it guaranteed though? No, like what? no, like is it when is he coming? When's the point? Like when is he coming? four. After, Summer 2024, after, season, probably. after this season, yeah. after yeah. before or after Copa, so America. right before Copa America, two games into Copa America, hmm? two so games wow. in, yeah. So what happens the first two games? They have intern, the assisted, uh, yeah. intern or the current guy Ramon Menezes, and then he comes in two games after. That's weird. Yeah, that's very based weird. on the scheduling. Yeah. My question is: my question is, if we well, say Brazil does win Copa America. Does that does that have an asterisk because of uh, no, of him have an asterisk? Or an if asterisk they win what? the World Cup, do they have an asterisk? Because you know the no no. no. So then there's no asterisk. So what's the problem? So then what's the problem? On the record book, so I was just gonna say Brazil. So then what's the Brazil problem? At the end of the day, the players are the, the players are playing. Brazil in brackets, Italy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nah, I mean you could be worse. Like you could be having Italian yeah, players on your team too. If Brazil, uh, that doesn't work like that, bro. The players are Brazilian. No, but that's what I'm saying. It's just it, one it, guy. It, it could be worse. Like you could be having like actual Main other guy. players hey, look, from different nations. I, I, am I going to be rooting against Brazil? No, never. But Why the not? fact that it's came to this point is embarrassing and ridiculous. So you're going to be watching with your arms crossed like this, no, just no. scuffing at the TV? <laughs> no, Why would no. you say embarrassing? Can't you just say at this point in time, maybe Brazil is just maybe... There's is ups it, and downs. Like you can't expect the Brazil to keep going up and up and up. And the player quality, yes, but maybe management quality has dropped. But should, that's my question. That's like, thing. like you're you embarrassed. Can't. You're embarrassed that they hired 
a foreign uh, yeah. coach, shouldn't you be embarrassed of the quality that Brazil has? Isn't that the better way to say it? And not performing? And that they're not performing, isn't that better to say? Like, they had to go this far because I'm embarrassed that our Brazilian coaches are not good enough. Okay, then, that, yes. then, like you said, that comes down to the players, not the coach. No, it comes down to maybe the management at, the, at Brazil quality is just so poor that the fact that you're supporting more of the poor quality management coming out of that country rather than giving the new manager, Ancelotti, Short on the stick. Why is it? I wouldn't actually, be. I why would've... is it Ancelotti? Why is it the Nate? Why is it the governing party of Brazil? Yeah, yeah like I that they're going out to resort to source for the greatest manager out there, and not just blame it on the actual fact that there's no Brazilian managers that can do it for us, and just say, wow, it's it's embarrassing that we have no one available that we have to bring someone as great as Ancelotti to come and do it for us. Yeah, that's what I said. Yes, yeah, so like, embarrassing. That's, so, that's exactly what I said. But why not? But your argument is that Ancelotti out. I don't want Ancelotti. Why can't just be like the fact that Brazilian managers are just that poor? Like it's that's embarrassing. It is embarrassing. So, so then, why do you want to continue with that? Yeah. Instead of trying something that might be better off for you, obviously you don't know until it happens. But why not try it? Because just because of pride. So are you yeah, you're more upset that Ancelotti's coming in than the fact that your Brazilian managers are that poor? No, not necessarily. But there's something about. Pride, of course, and purity in purity, sports. Bro. Like <laughs> purity's like been all. lost a long time ago, bro. No, sue me for wanting, sue me for wanting the leader of the best national team of all time in history to also be from that country. Like, sorry, that's so far fetched. Like that, 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 that shouldn't upset me. No, but I should. Should I be jumping for joy for Ancelotti? No, because Maybe at the end of bit. the day, no, nothing's promised. You also shouldn't be um, giving him the short on the stick because he's coming in either. What do you mean short on the stick? Like, why are you already bashing him, expecting him he's going to be doing a poor job? I never said that. No, he, he expects him to do a good job. So but then what's wrong with this? If you get results, you get results. Just the fact that he's on Brazil. Because it doesn't I, feel it's, right. It's the principle. It's, yeah. Yes, it's a principle. It doesn't feel right. Like You got to do what you got to do sometimes. No, but like, see, that's not, like, that, that exact sentence you say right there is like... It's weak. It's weak. It's called moving on, bro. What does that mean? It hasn't been working since 02, right? When has Brazil had a world-class manager that has managed in Europe, has managed the best teams? Tell me the last time. It just doesn't happen. Tell me the last time. Italy has not been to the past two World Cups and they're still rocking an Italian manager. Who? Because there's, in general, Mancini. Italian managers are better. So? But obviously the, but the Italy past don't have the have players either. Huh? Italy don't have the players. They either. definitely had the players. They have this good year. players. They won. The, they just won the Euro. But at the same time, you can't year. say that Italy have been just poor consistently. It's not like they haven't like really. They've won the Euros. They yeah. came a little short off the they World won Cup. Cup America. They they came into the finals of. No, they didn't. They came. Italy they they Italy came in the finals of Nations, League. Yeah. Nations League. More recently, Nations League, right? Semi finals of Nations League. And there, histor and historically, yeah, there is probably there is more Itali stronger Italian managers, yeah, yeah, one hundred percent Brazilian. So, but still, like you could tell that the the half the Italians only want to coach Italy because the team's not good right now. No, not because the team's not good. Because they they're embarrassed. Oh, the team is not good. No, the team is not good though. They'd rather coach club level because, uh, like, like Conte he always stayed a little bit because he would rather coach club level. But if oh, Italy, what if, else are gonna get? Okay, if we're talking about an Italy two thousand six side, you don't think any Italian coach would be begging to coach that side? It's about the quality. Coach? Yeah, you said Italy coaches don't want to coach Italy right now. Why? Because yeah. the quality's not there like it was yeah, before. Yeah, that's, that's they, true. They weren't exactly favorites that, in 06. So like, isn't okay, that more? But look at that team compared to what they have now. Yeah. They have an Argentine playing striker. Yeah. Yeah, he's kind of mid too. Exactly. Wait, what's wrong with Argentine playing striker? Is he good? Yeah. He scored in his debut. No? Yeah, he's all right. But is he he's, good? He's mid. He's he scored mid. in his He did his job. In How his many debut? goals did he score this season for his club? I don't know. What, what club does he play for? I don't know. Exactly. Do you know? I didn't say I did. I didn't. See, I, I said he was. Like, he, he I said he wasn't his, a good player. He did his job when he got called in. He scored in his first game. Okay, but and it doesn't mean he'll he'll perform there when he's needed in the finals or in. Same as Ancelotti. No, but Ancelotti clearly has, knows where he's going into a team like know. Brazil. He's, <laughs> he's been in these <laughs> yeah. scenarios before. All I, all I know is I, I, think, I think I'm, I think I'm putting all my my eggs in in Ancelotti's basket than a Brazilian coach. Brazil okay. even offered Ancelotti you know the mean? chance to extend his contract to 2030. That's how much they believe in him, bro. Yeah. 2030. Yeah, bro, his his, his resume is massive. Obviously, they're going to believe in him. Look at his name. Exactly. Exactly what? But what's wrong with it? Yeah, but what's actually... If CBF are, are putting their pride aside, why can't you? 
What, ch what Chantaletta are we getting, though? Hold on. Answer my question. Chantaletta has been winning championships. If CBF can put their pride aside, why can't you? <laughs> what does CBF have to do with... CBF don't necessarily represent the Brazilian people. Do you? Canadian born? Oh, I can, yeah. Half Brazilian. So can they. Okay. But, okay. So me and you have a different opinion. Whatever. No, but I'm saying... I, I, I'm all for national pride, um, purity, and having our people represent us. People like us. But that's just speaking from your Brazil side. Now, as a Canadian... What's your thoughts on the Canadian team? I, I literally answered this a minute so, ago. So basically because Brazilian the Brazilian team is a lot better, you have pride. But if we could, because Canadian team is not that good, you You're don't okay have with them. You You're have okay, okay with them. Yeah, it's, it's so, it just, so it comes down to the players being good is why? Yeah, the players on the football heritage. Because yeah. like, like for me, example, Ecuador, you, I'm okay with having a, a, a gaffer. We've had almost everyone. everyone. Manager, okay, but like, <laughs> look, look at what we're doing here. So so then basically it doesn't come down to the gaffer. It comes down to your Ecuador team being good. have the same amount of World Cups within the last 10 years. <laughs> you could say that about... In the last 20 years, we have the same amount of World Cups. You could say that about... But it's true. So many... It's true. Like you have the best... Countries. One of the best Brazilian teams you've what seen in a while. What does that have to do with... What is that? The, what, like, what's your point? So if you, so, what's your point? I don't know. Like, my point yeah. is that there's no reason to not give a, another Gaffer a chance just because he's not your part of your from your nation. What's the relation from what you just said with Ecuador? That the fact he, he's that just saying a fact that you guys haven't won. We've won the same amount of World Cups. Yeah. Just a and, cheeky and, like slide in fact. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, but what what Ancelotti are you gonna get? The league, the league guy that that's not that good, or. Champions League. Well, you know. What competitions are Brazil going to be playing in? Knockout competitions. Okay. Something that he's a master I get, of. Yeah, I get and, that. And but he, and it's, not, it's not a Champions League night. It's just, these, these, those are all big games. Like He's going to go into Copa America play some shit teams. Is he going to Is he gonna do it every single time? Do like, like, like a Champions League he's night? He's also got familiar heads with him. Who? Rodrigo and Vini? Those are... Yeah, those, those are... are yeah. Yeah. Those are... <laughs> Big, pretty pretty good players. World class players for Brazil. Pretty class players. Those are world class players for Brazil. Does he speak Portuguese? He's probably gonna learn. I'm sure he does a little bit. You don't, think, he, you don't think he's learning? We'll see, I guess. Just gonna. All I say is, I have I have no worries with it. I have no problems with it. I'm excited to be honest. I'm excited. I think he's gonna. It's gonna be a new chapter for Brazil, bro. I think he's not gonna perform as as well as you guys think that he is. How well do you think? I think, think he's going to do. I think he's going to do exactly the same as all your Brazilian managers. I Which don't think is? he's going to win you guys a World Cup. He might win you guys maybe. a Copa Medico though. I'm, uh, yeah, maybe. So if he doesn't win Copa America next year, failure? No. How would it be a failure? I'm asking. How would it not be a failure? The heck? I'm asking. Copa America. We're, 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 we're going to be entering his favorites. We're the best team in the in the continent. He's going to be. But aren't you guys always favorites? Yeah. So it's a failure every time we don't win. But Argentina have won the last World Cup and the and Copa America before that. Why What's would they point? be favorites? Yeah, no, but like, why can't you expect like why them is, to be also? Why is Argentina like, favorites? We're a better team than them. Not on paper, clearly not. Not really? on paper, clearly not. How they've won the last <laughs> World <laughs> Cup yeah. and the last okay, Copa America? We're a better team, but they won the World Cup and the Copa America. Well, yeah. Where does that come down? Isn't to? that better? Isn't yeah, but we're a better team. So like, 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 okay, you you like you go you I okay before before the Copa America starts, I you'll you'll go to the betting. Who's lines. ranked? Who's ranked right now? I say there's team. a I say there's a great chance Brazil will be betting favorites heading into the tournament. That's they always, always are. Always. Always. That's always that the means case. favorites. That's what yeah, I'm talking yeah. about. I'm talking about favorites. They're, they're favorites on paper, but. I wouldn't say they play better as a team compared. I to never them. said that. No, I, know. I just said I, we're I, a better team. I'm not saying I'm not disagreeing with what you're saying. I'm just saying like I'm trying to say that like Argentina is the better team, Brazil is the better team on paper. Yeah, so if they don't win, it's a failure. No, no, because he's coming in it. two games into See, the Copa. You're Medica. already starting to make excuses. Yeah, but two games what in, they're, they're group stage games. They're probably going to be against Shkif teams. If anything, he's coming in at the perfect time because he's a knockout manager. Why can is you he, why prepare your team in what six games, five? Okay, games? but you, you're going to say the same thing. Come the World Cup the year after. Oh, he didn't have a long enough to prepare. No, two years? That's four years. But the thing is, yeah, two years? Two years? I think say, no, it'll be one year from then. 2024? When's two the World years. Cup? 2026. Okay, years. sorry. You're going to say the same thing. Though. Two years? Wait, wait, yeah. Matt. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who's taking over for Brazil? His his assistant? He said someone he trusts. So or then he's going to implement the they have now. Ancelotti's he's tactics. Already. The same but it's not Ancelotti. Not necessarily. You don't think Ancelotti's going to be it's this? It's not one? him. But it's no, not. It's going to be in Madrid still, bro. It's not yeah. him. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's okay, not him. In the summer, you don't think he's going to have vacation going is over? Is it him or is it not him? But he's going to be there for the important games. You want him for all the games. They're going to know how to gotta, play his style gotta, already you gotta build, going through you gotta his. Build they're going to be playing a group stage game against like Panama. 
Bolivia, and like they're gonna easy games. They're gonna win the group stage. By the time Ancelotti's there to play against tougher teams, he'll be there. Yeah, maybe with probably like five players in the starting eleven that he's coached for the last five or six years. I'm sure tactically he's not gonna play very different than he is no. for Madrid, based on the players that are there. So it's like it's not gonna be a huge. I'm sure. I'm sure. Shift. I'm sure he'll do just fine in the in the Copa America. So you think? I if, think so. You think if he if he doesn't win, Dan, it's a failure. I think if they don't make the finals, it's a failure. Sure. I think whether he's there or not, it's a failure if Brazil don't win Copa America. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, it's it is. true. Unless, like, okay, like, I don't consider it a failure if you're losing to Argentina and you guys are, like, fighting till, like, the very end. But like, it I don't should be because this is going to be, like, three tournaments in a row where Argentina did better than them. Yeah. Argentina is the better team. Are they? Yeah. So then, yeah. Like as a team, Argentina is is hard to beat. They're a hard team to beat. They got no team in the got, world right now got, can beat Argentina. They got Grinta, bro. But again, Brazil are always going to be favorites. Yeah, they're favorites. So they're yeah. always yeah. expect to be. If they don't, if they don't lose, they're just, they're just always going to expect to be. It's, it's failure yeah. in no the what. betting books, like <laughs> I guess. Yeah. But like Argentina, like you can't. I can't say actually failed. No, but it's true. Like what Matt said, with or without them, they're still going to be favorites. Like. Yeah. Who was favorites to win this year? And for with, cha- for and with or without them, they're going to be failures. If for they don't Champions win. League? Was it Madrid, Madrid. Win it? Cause, was it Madrid to win again? Madrid or City, it, maybe. Because if it was City, then okay, fair enough, they won. But City, probably PSG. Bayern are probably up there. Barca. Barca. Uh, Barca, <laughs> well, at the beginning, I'm sure, like... <sighs> pretty high up. I but no, I think I'm I'm good. You're, I'm excited. I'm think I think yeah. I, I, it'd be cool. I want to see Ancelotti cool. play international football. I don't manage international football. Sorry, I didn't want to see him well, coach Brazil though. Yeah, but hey, I, it's again, jealousy, bro. again, it's it's something different. We've never seen a Brazil with a, a manager at this level at this caliber. Nah, man. And who world knows? Class. Maybe they can actually go out and do it. But world again, class gaffer. Football is see, like that. It's there can be a great. I think again, I can they almost have to do it for Neymar too, because really, this is probably his last World Cup, his last chance to be like. More of a hero for his nation. I guess you want to give him. Wouldn't be surprised he nudged the him best a bit. Chance yeah, to, but is that as long as not is that not something you want for a player like that to actually receive uh, that glory, knowing that hey, even if it's with Ancelotti or not, like for, uh, Neymar can not finally, hopefully, he can reach that level. Give these players it's a, a gaffer that gives can them lead them to the promised land. It gives them a better chance. Yeah. So, I think I think it's a it's a good good job for them. So you're okay with him, man? I'm excited, bro, but. The thing is, like at the end of the day, it's hard to compare international and club football. What was your? What was so your you don't know how it's going to transition, yeah. but what I'm excited for like the ideas and how they're going to play in general. What was your dad saying though? Nah, my dad doesn't like it. He's he's on Jay's side with like the whole pride thing, but I don't know, man. I'm excited. I like it from a footballing perspective. I think it's. I think from a neutral perspective, it, it seems pretty cool. Neutral, yeah, I think yeah, it's good, course. but if you're looking at it from like a national pride standpoint, I think Jay's has the right idea. I think, like for me as a neutral, I think okay, it's cool. Like, good coach, good team. Like, mm. let's see them play some good football. But if like I was Brazilian, then maybe what's, I'd the, what's the Brazilian media? With Jay. The oh, what? Brazilian media. It's kind of mixed. Yeah. Like a lot of people like are for it, like old world class manager, whatnot. And a lot the, of only the, pride pride. Right? Yeah, that's that's the, the only issue is the pride. Yeah, that's the only thing. issue because Ancelotti it's, it's brings a fair. I know. Issue. I'm saying, but everything else Ancelotti's but, bring is. Uh, well, making the what, team better. Yeah. Well, it's not like he's coming on bad merit. Yeah, no, it's like, well, everything what, what else is better. He's bringing is, I think it is. It, I think it outweighs weighs less than the. I think it outweighs weighs less. No, it weighs. Yeah, weighs outweighs. More than, outweighs. Yeah, the, the, I, I the think pride. so. Yeah, because if they were bringing in like some like mid table manager, then, yeah, like, like if it's a mid table manager sense, you know? like that's like from a different he's nation, he's a world class manager. Yeah, just he's been he's a serious one of the best we've seen. Right, like he's top five in my opinion. Of all time, like you know what I mean? Like this is a guy who, who's a serial winner. I think it's a good appointment, bro. Like no matter what uh the prideful man. Pride weighs heavy, of course, but I think what he brings to the table weighs more. No? Yeah. Uh, I mean, of course it's a good up uh, it's a good appointment. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, they they it's it, it's like signing like Pep. Like they signed a, the one of the top managers. Of course from a footballing perspective, it's a good appointment. Um and of course, there's nothing like I could do about it, but that doesn't change the way how I feel about it. Yeah, I'm ex- I'm excited, I'm intrigued to see how he does. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to hopefully winning the World Cup, but it's still gonna be it's still I'm gonna have the sour taste in my mouth for a little. But while. would your opinion change if they if they if they win trophies? But at that of point, course. But, but at that point, at that point, it's just like like oh, I'm gonna be sad. No, no, but at that point, you're just, just riding against the wave. Well, they won. Okay, I'm, I'll be happy now. But like, if they win, are you going to start to have that sour taste for the next 20, 30 years if they have to win that World Cup? If they win a World Cup? Of it, course not. 
why aren't you someone that says keep that same energy? Okay. Ooh. So <laughs> sure, if it's bothering you now that they might go win a World Cup with him, and if they do win it, then the day after or the day of, they're lifting the trophy, you're like, oh, yeah. And you know what? And the next morning, you're like, oh, shit. You know what? You got Ancelotti. Like, who cares about be like, oh, fuck, we won the World Cup with Ancelotti. You know Screw pride, Screw bro. pride. We won. <laughs> We're the winners. And then, like, yeah, let's say you have your Italian fans, trip, your friends tripping you, but, like, end of the day, you're like, yeah, bro, what about Hexa? What are they going to say to you? Dance, exactly. Right? What are they going to say to you at that point? There's dance in front of them. They're like catching up, bro. Point? At that point, you're like, yeah, screw you. Like, we were, we were, we're two up you. you exactly. The, 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 yeah, next morning, the next morning, you're like, we won the <laughs> What did I eat? It doesn't bro? feel right. I don't know why. <laughs> did I just eat? Why is it so medley? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All I'm saying is keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. Like you like to say. <laughs> Damn, okay. bro. He's getting at you, huh? It's yeah, but it's different when you're like oh, oh yeah, now yeah, it's, yeah, it's different. It's always different. Right? No, yeah, it, it is a little, <laughs> it's always different. I say keep the same en- energy for you when you're like Ter Stegen, get out of my club, and now you're praising him as the best player of the season. I'm not saying hey Ancelotti, get out of here. He's not. Like, kind of you're hard. not welcome. He's not here yet. Like I'm not saying that. He's I'm just saying yet. what I value and my opinion on. The situation as a whole, that's my opinion. Well, it's kind of hard to say that when he hasn't performed yet here. Huh. We'll see. He's not coaching Brazil yet. He hasn't coached any games. So how how, how would you be able to slander him? It's just, it's just a na- What do you mean slander? Because he said I was slandering through Stegen uh, yeah. after he played bad and he started playing yeah. well. So how can you slander Ancelotti saying he's bad if he hasn't coached Brazil yet? Exactly. So I have no same energy to keep yet. <laughs> eh, not not really. Exactly. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> eh, I don't know. All right. All right. I don't know. But leading on to the Italian side, Christopher losing it in the finals against semis. Semis. Or they lost no, the semis. semis. They were. They, oh, they yeah, got yeah, third no, place. So you're, yeah, they, they got third. They got third place. They, they beat, beat Spain. One. They beat Netherlands. Spain beat Croatia. Yeah. That, that penalty shoot that was crazy. Who nice, Simon man? Nah, bro. That was crazy nuts, big, bro. But. Joselu scoring in the last minute to tie that to Madrid, win that game. Madrid move, bro. So, no, that was against Italy. I keep getting my games confused. Joselu did score a penalty. Oh, yeah, but he scored a penalty, but he, he won. He got the game winner against Italy. Yeah, yeah. You think Italy deserved to go to the final that game, or was uh, it poor lineup? Poor lineup. How, what would you have done? Uh, Demarco had to have started that game. He's probably been the one of the best left backs in the world. A lot of people are saying, yeah, he's he's the best left back right now. He, he's definitely up there. Like, if you say otherwise. Like, if you see otherwise, no, what? I don't, I don't see that. Well, you're going to slap you me? Don't, you don't know your shit then. Man. But you don't know ball, man. <laughs> now going to the third place match against Netherlands. You got a little bit better. You play and you scored. Yeah. Baller, man. No, they, they put out a better lineup. They, they Kids have got a nice goal. Well, I don't know if they put out a better lineup. It was a little bit better. A little bit better. Kids have scored. Kids have dummied Van Dyke. I don't know why Immobile is still playing, by the way. Van Dyke's no finished, bro. No, bro. He, 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 he did a one, uh, what's it called? He was doing aura defending, aura, bro. bro. I was this guy was playing zone defense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he got destroyed. Bro. did one step over. Step and over lost. and he lost him, bro. <laughs> his, his, his ankles were gone. <laughs> crazy, bro, you gonna let him shoot on me? <laughs> and then his shot wasn't like the best too. It was like a little p roller. No, it was side, it was side netting. It was side netting, but the, it was like not powerful. It wasn't powerful. It was like, a good play, shot. He was placing. It was he was in the six yard. Hundred percent. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I don't know why Mobile is still playing for Italy though. That guy, I thought he was done with, and they keep bringing this guy back. But he's but, uh, wasn't top goal scorer in Serie, Serie A, bro. He's not top goal scorer in Serie A. Was he, man? Was, was he man. second? No, I think he's been, he was injured for most of the year. I can't. He won't be. He, he might have been top five, but anyway. But yeah, Spain. I would say Spain deserved it. Croatia also was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. But they're always there. Like they have that style of football. You knew it was going to pens. Yeah, right? yeah. they love extra time. They bro. love extra time. <laughs> they love pens. But it was a good game to watch. Like it was, it was entertaining football on both sides. But I think like. Like Croatia's defense was solid. Their mm-hmm. midfield obviously was world class. It was just like they're just lacking that like attacking threat a little bit, you know, like that kind of player in the final third to kind of make things happen. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I guess you can say so was Spain, and I guess that's why it went to Pens. I heard Ansu played a good game. Both teams yeah. were pretty similar in terms good of how the they kind of lined up. But yeah, it's uh, another missed chance for for Modric to win a trophy. Yeah. Do you think he should retire from international? I don't think he will with the Euros next year. I think it would be silly. I think for after him. that. Who? I think after the Euros? Modric? Yeah. I think after Euros, maybe. Maybe depending on how they do. Like, I'm sure they'll still field a pretty strong team. Like, it'll be the usual suspects mm-hmm. again, right? Like, sure. 
I, I have a bone to pick. Tell me. Who. Look. All the discourse was um, obviously Modric, like this might have been his last chance to win an international trophy, right? And everyone's like, Modric deserves an international trophy. And then you go on the flip side. When Messi, like, like pre pre all this, when Messi doesn't have an international trophy, pre when Ronaldo doesn't have an international trophy, these guys are international flops. Why? Why the? Why is there like a difference there? I don't get it. I've seen both sides of the coin said for Messi and Ronaldo, saying that they deserved international trophies. Yeah, but where's the majority? The majority of the convo is, is Messi, he? Ronaldo, international flaws. But you see, you see, little long hair mother. He deserves an international it's, trophy. I could, I could, and don't say it, it's because Croatia, small nation. Because no. p- those Portugal teams. Pre like early Ronaldo days, not we're not necessarily good at all. No. Probably worse than prime Croatia. No, well think about it, right? Messi, Ronaldo, big rivals. Fans are big rivals yeah. of each other, yeah. right? They always go at each other. This is what I'm going. Who to. you think's talking about Ronaldo needing international trophies? Messi fans. Who you think's talking about Ronaldo needing international trophies? Messi I mean, I, yeah. well, other way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's, who's fans. It's that's why it's such a mm. they, they need international trophies. Meanwhile, to be the goal, to meanwhile, be the goal. Modric. Who really he's, hates he's Modric? Just, he's just a neutral player. You can't he's, hate Modric, bro. He's going to be one of the best midfielders of all time. So that will just put his his yeah. record like just there. Like he 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 might come second to Zidane, just with an international he, trophy. He's, okay, he, but the, but does that lead to the discussion? Is Modric an international failure? No, I don't think so. No, Why? he's brought Croatia to a final, semifinal, and a final, and another final, and, another final. and no wins. You but can't that always win them, man. But that huh? comes that, that 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 leads to like the rest of the team. Yeah, but they never said this one, Messi or Ronaldo. But, or no, man. but again, Ronaldo <laughs> had a great team in the in the Euro final against Greece. Who do you have with him? Yeah, they should have won that. Figu, yeah, right? Greece. But that was like, and then this, and Ar- and Argentina have had great players play next to Messi as well. Tevez, Higuain, and his prime. Well, they a, maybe Ibala. they had a World Cup final. But well. no, even the defenders too. Like when they had that World Cup final, right? They they were mediocre teams, but they played together just the same way they they won this World Cup. They weren't all star defenders or all star midfielders, but they played with heart and passion. It just comes down to really. Modric really being the star of that Croatian team, and there's like just the rest of the team kind of like letting him down. Whereas for like Ronaldo and Messi, like had the players so he can like win that trophies with. Modric is kind of like besides Modric, who else is there to kind of like? They know, have. Players, I got you. Not not a lot of depth. Like it's like they have a starting eleven that's solid, and then a- after that, it just yeah, like the, the guys you're, you're bringing, bringing on guys from Zagreb. You just say that about a lot of those Portugal teams. Yeah. Yeah, you can. You can say it about a lot of teams. You're but, bringing on like Lee Edson. <laughs> but like we're talking about that Portugal team against Greece. He made a final. Uh, that that's the that's baby Ronaldo though. But that's a yeah. Portugal that's probably one of their best at the time. The Portugal that won uh beat France. I can't remember who they had coming on, but I feel like they had like a, a decent squad. I mean they had Edder coming on. But Edder scoring the goal. <laughs> it's not a decent yeah, squad though. You have that player that's stepping up to no one steps up on Modric. But no the thing is, has Modric, Modric played poor in any in, in any of these finals? No, he's always been so. the best players on the on the field for yeah. I think yeah. from either side. Has Messi played poor? No. Yeah, well, but then he was still getting those chats. But it's, I think that's I think like like, just, like Spatty said, I think yeah, that's more 100%. just like just toxic, just toxic fans. fan culture toxic than like football, yeah. legitimate analysis. Like if you're analyzing any of those Messi performances, like you can't say that he's an international failure because in those games, like he was carrying. Argentina a lot of times to that to that success. Did okay, he get what about Neymar then? What about Neymar? Is he an international failure? No. Why? No. He's top goal scorer for Brazil. But why? Then why is why is he still getting the discord? Because you need one person to blame. That's usually the main player, or the star player of the team. Okay, but why is Modric getting any blame? You don't yeah. think he is? Because no. everyone loves Modric. No. Okay, but like because the thing is, not like everyone, he's, he's not a little like toy. Like no, no but it's true. Toy, everyone likes like, him. It's like Kante. Everyone likes Kante. Yeah, but like Kante, like Neymar has haters. Yeah, but with Kante, it's Messi a little, has like, haters. With Kante, like it's the the likeness is a little extra. Like people <laughs> treat him like a little kid. Yeah, hundred yeah, yeah, percent. A little weird. A little weird. <laughs> but Neymar, you can't say that Neymar doesn't have haters. Neymar has so many yeah, haters. Modric, no, Ronaldo, yeah, I know. Ronaldo has so many haters. I'm aware. Messi has so many haters. That's the that's the doesn't really. I think it's just like the status of those players. Hundred like percent. Status of those players, and also like, like the countries that they're playing for. You expect them to have 
success. The top, yeah, exactly. Whereas like Croatia, you don't really expect oh, them to have okay. success. The, the, <sighs> like if I, I feel, I feel like Hazard and De Bruyne get flack no, for not bringing it's Belgium. Not, that's the, the whole title. freaking team, man. They had a, a big side going. So into did Croatia. <laughs> no, no, they didn't. No, though. like if Belgium they didn't make had that a final, team. like if they didn't make that run in 2018, no one would be talking about them. Realistically speaking, Belgium. No, no Croatia. Oh, Croatia. If they didn't make that mm-hmm. final in 2018, nobody would have been talking about them, like to this day. Okay, and but they made it. They made a good run. Like some would say, they got lucky on that run. Like they just had those crucial goals. Like shootouts. guys like Mandzukic were coming goals, shootouts. They weren't like necessarily thrashing teams to to get there. They were just playing tournament football. And, and like they were, they weren't like favorites. They were always like the underdog at those points. Even in the past World Cup, it was the same thing. Like they're underdogs every game, pretty much. Yeah. And it's like. Sure, you win a couple of shootouts and you and you get there. You had a strategy in place, but like it's what it takes. It's what it takes. But at the end of the day, like I, I don't think anybody was looking at that team like they're the favorites in this game. So I think if you're not going into it with that mentality of being the favorites, you're ne- if you're the star player of that team, you're never gonna get slack. If you're not the favorites to win, because no one's expecting you to go out there and win. If you go out there and you have, you have a great performance and you do manage to win, you're gonna get all the praise, all the pl- all the plaudits. But if you go out there and your team loses, like oh well, it was a good run. Yeah, mm-hmm. for yeah, sure. I get that. I get that. 2018, I get that. But it does get to a point where Croatia's not an underdog anymore. They're, they'll they'll still be an underdog. No, they're a top ten. Nation. No, but rank them though. Yeah, like yeah, even they're... Belgium though. The reason Belgium was, is also giving all this slack at twelve as well because they're. They've been ranked one for how long? For a little bit. And yeah. they're also getting into fights with each other before. No, before but just, just as the nation and the team, they're getting ranked for at one for what? Because of the players they've had? For nothing. Because, because of, maybe of some the quality of the players. rankings were weird. But things. you know what I mean? Like, and then they don't go, they go out there and they have stinkers. Like, they deserve it. They deserve to get stinkered because they're known as one of the, be- the best team in the world. Some of the best players in the world. Their brain playing for Man City, of course, playing for nation and rate, whatever. It just. You can't compare that with the way Croatia is. And Croatia is ranked 10th in the world because of the success they've had. And again, if it wasn't for the 2018 run or the last couple of runs, it wouldn't be that high either. It's got to start somewhere. I just, I just, we got to start treating them like underdogs, I think. Maybe now after this cycle, yeah, they lose gone? these players. You, maybe, think this, like, like, you think it's over though? The cycle's over? The Croatia cycle? I don't know. Maybe. But like Depends post steps up. Post 2018, like you, we can't keep saying they're underdogs. Like, but like like we said, final, semi-final, final. They're making yeah. it right. I think they deserve their praise, 100%. But their you, team I don't has think... changed quite a bit. Like, if you look at the 2018 team versus the team from the last World Cup. No Mandzukic. Other than Modric, Perisic. Perisic. Uh, that's pretty Robic. much the only, pl- on the only players Is Lovren that are... still playing? No. Or how about Literally the guy with the cap? The only cat? players that are still Vida. playing. Like, Vida wasn't playing anymore. Like, Lovren's gone. They have a new goalie. Serna's gone. Mm. Like, shows, Serna, bro. Which shows what a you take some of these golden gen guys out, they're still excelling. Yeah, because you have like that same, yeah, but I guess. Quality it's the same player. spine, it's, bro. At the end of the day, it's the midfield, right? Like if you mm-hmm. have an elite midfield like they have, like they have three or have four prob- world-class elite, midfielders. Yeah. Like Brozovic, Modric, Kovacic, and, and Rakitic when he was playing for Croatia still. Those are four like world-class yeah. midfielders, right? You're always going to be able to kind of hang in a game, especially if you have a good structure. But I don't think they're ever like like favorites to win. Like I think it was more so. Okay, this is maybe this is the year that they're gonna tail off, and they didn't, right? So I guess you I guess you you can say that maybe they have failed because they have had so many chances to claim silverware, and they haven't. But at the same time, like I don't think anybody really expected them to. It was more like oh here they go again, like underdog story again. But they were never really labeled as as like favorites. Yeah, but if you think of it, if you were to make a bracket, would you ever put Croatia in a final? No, that's no. true though. No, and I'm not saying they're number one favorites, but and I'm not saying they're favorites, but they're not underdogs. They're not. They're not underdogs, they're, but they're near contenders. <laughs> like, yeah, but they're they're playing in Europe, the the most competitive uh, uh sorry most competitive continent in football, like right. So they have all these competition. Who do they beat to get to the semifinals? Right? I don't know, but they beat Netherlands, who's also a good side. Same thing with Netherlands. Why is Netherlands still continuously poor, uh, performing poorly if they've always had like these high caliber players? And who and who gets flack? Their best player. There's Van no, Dijk. They have a lot of good players. Van Dijk gets all the. But flack. they have better. They have higher ranked players than I think Croatia do, and they mm. still get slapped. No, no, I think I think every team's gonna have that one player. I that think gets, Netherlands uh, is a better defense than Croatia. Maybe. 
Midfield, you have uh, Modric walked Young off the park. So no, sure, mid- attacking, midfield. I don't think it's close. Attacking, and attack, you can say sh- Netherlands. Guess, Netherlands. But yeah, even defense like Van Dijk's kind of washed. Let's be honest. But he's still going to be higher level than whatever the, the Croatia's playing with. Vardio. Vardio oh. wasn't even playing. <laughs> no, but like, but we're for comparing best to best. Like it's. You can call it a like nowadays. Yeah. I'm sure you can call it a wash. But and like, and uh, Van Dijk gets absolutely obliterated. Look, yeah. I'm not eating on Modric. I love him. He's top five all time. But every other nation's best player gets flack. Kerry Kane, England, destroyed if they're when English they don't win anything. Toxic. Yeah. Um, Van Dijk, Netherlands, destroyed. But but like every team, it it, it just seems yeah. every team, um, but Croatia. And I, I, I'm not saying I agree or disagree with it. I'm just asking the question: Why? Maybe they are. Maybe you're just not. No, seeing no, it. they're not. They're not. You, you don't know, know but that. There was you a point in Modric's career where he got so much flack that he was supposed to leave yeah. Barca, uh, Madrid. Yeah. Now he's at the point where he he literally has an unreal season. People think he's going to leave Madrid, and he signs another year. And and you just hard to hate a player like that. That just doesn't get shit at the game. He just, it's. I love seeing. He's getting play. better with age, bro. Yeah, like, I, I do too. Like I, <laughs> I, I don't. So hate then that's Modric. why I don't I'm think. I don't think, I don't think anyone else yeah. uh, here hate Modric. So no, I think that it's I, hard I, to hate him. That's what I'm trying to say. I feel like that alone just answers the kind of the question. Like that's why because like he Van Dyke, have haters. Van, Van Dyke, Dyke has haters. The reason why he has haters because he's a meme. It, no, it's because he declined. He, he would not have haters if he was still had that aura around him. A, I guarantee he's a meme you. Too. He's a meme. <laughs> Modric is, Find a Modric meme. The injury all. killed him, to be honest. Yeah, if he didn't get that injury, I guarantee you there wouldn't be that. He would not get flack right now because he would be thriving still. Modric is still thriving. Mm-hmm. He literally, as I said, he walked Young off the park in the semifinals. He's still th- he's still playing top quality at, th- what, 38, 37? Yeah. Like, it's ho- like, you can't really hate on him. There's there's games that Ronaldo and Messi okay not not as much Messi but Ronaldo had bad games like he was just invisible and it's easy to give flack to a player like that and it's also because it's Ronaldo and he has Messi haters mm-hmm. but I don't know I, I, Neymar has he's, there's games that he doesn't perform for Brazil yeah he's the top goal scorer but there's games that he doesn't perform and then he's gonna get hated it's it's, it's just how it is Modric doesn't really he never he always performs I never really seem to have it's bad also games. because the so media never really painted Modric as like a villain. Like they do these other players yeah. we've mentioned, right? Sure. So you're not going to see much of it in the media. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. It's a good question. 100%. Yeah. But, and I, I can see where I like you come from because you're right. Like a lot of, most, almost all teams have that one guy that gets destroyed in media. Usually the star player. And I think the big reason why people say, oh, you know what? He does deserve it is because he's, he's been so close to it. He's been to it twice now in finals. Mm-hmm. He deserves it because he's been so Didn't they win third place in the World Cup too? <laughs> It's yeah, a big achievement so. for them too, right? They'll always say because it's always against a small nation. Yeah, but hey, like, what was it? A, what was the whole thing? It was like a couple years ago. They weren't even like. I forget the whole thing about that. The whole World Cup. I forget. I forget what they said. But again, like small nation, like they were so close. That's why they kind of want that, right? The feel good story. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. No, that's good. So, but again, Spain won penalties. It was good for them. Um, it was funny how they ended up going to. Um, Real Madrid's basketball team stadium to do the <laughs> celebration, <laughs> bro. They're uh, hating on Gavi. Eh? You see what, what they were uh, whistling? Was it Jose? No. The, the mic? What were they whistling? I think so. They're like puta Gavi, puta Gavi, puta, puta Gavi. Puta Barca, no? Was it Barca? I think it was puta Barca. Because they're, yeah. they're, they're in Madrid celebrating, and then they gave the mic to Gabi. Poor Gabi couldn't even say a word. <laughs> He's like, uh, just, hey. I'm here to you know, say thank you. <laughs> you just got to show the medal and the Golden Boy medal. 18 year olds got them on strings, bro. I'm lying. Mad. That's crazy. Mad. These Madrid but, fans are crazy. But nah, good for Spain, man. Good for Spain. I know, even like with Spain now, like the crazy question that we've all been is, to talk about. Is this Spain is Spain back? Spain back? I don't know. Is that 2010 Spain? No. Back? Okay. No. Because <laughs> did Spain like really look that good? Like if you look like across no, like didn't. the front line, like the, the front line is like lacking. pretty good, I guess. Like the defense is like, eh, goalie's decent. But besides that, they're like... They're very Looking de- on paper, very it's kind of like, yeah. like an average to like decent side team, right? They're not like a world class yeah. side. You know what I, I mean? Agree. Yeah, yeah. And Enrique is gone too. Yeah, that's I, a big one. That's a big uh, who? And the gaffer. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. But that's a big loss for them. But they I, did I think it's like the start of a new generation, generation. For, for Spain. Like their backline's decent. Like they have two Frenchies yeah. at the back now, right? <laughs> Lillemont, Lillemont, and then the Laporte. Laporte. What can you do? <laughs> I don't know. Like, like their midfield's solid. Like Rodri, 
head to do when he's fit. Mm-hmm. Like they have great options in the midfield. I yeah. think it's just like, like their attack. I think is, yeah, is definitely what's kind of lacking right now. But like at the same time, they do have some young talent coming through that can you know maybe by next year, maybe by the next World Cup. Like you know, you might have some of these attackers in, in their prime, and and they can maybe carry a little bit. Like a Fati grows as he's projected or supposed to. Hope so. Right. He played good that game. I saw the highlights. Like that's a an electric attacker, right? You yeah. still have players like you know Asensio, who's whatever does his thing. Even Pino, who's promising yeah, young player. Pino as well, very young talent as well. And then if you have Pedri, Gavi, like these guys can obviously play those positions as well. Like maybe a little bit further up the field, like. I think like maybe by twenty twenty six they could be, maybe real contenders to to being like real contenders. Like because you have to forget, like even in the in the Euros, like they played pretty good against Italy too. Like they they had a hard run. They had a hard run in that Euro Cup too. So I don't, yeah, know, I don't, they I don't think they're back thing, back, but I think like you know they're definitely not a team that you want to come up against. Yeah, for sure. Right. Even though they might not have like the best world, like quality players, they always it's just Spain. They have that you know. You can say tiki taka. Yeah. <laughs> tiki tiki taka taka. Dum, dum, dum. Yeah, they could get it done. Yeah. But yeah. Do you guys think uh interesting question I saw on the on the Twitter timeline? Do you guys think that this Spain team would win La Liga? 100%. The Spain team? Nah. 100%. Nah. Let's say you have 100%, the Spain team. really? 100%. I don't know about 100%. 100%. Do they win La Liga? Hundred percent, maybe like forty percent. Hundred percent, forty-five percent. I don't know about hundred percent, bro. Hundred percent. How? Because that league is washed. Give it's me give going me, like pound for pound. Okay, Barca yeah, yeah, and Madrid yeah, yeah. are better than that team. No. Give nah. me. I don't think. I don't think they would win the league. Give me the First five. Of all, that Barca team is pretty much. The give me the five best players in the league. Is one of them? How many Spanish people are there? Maybe okay. one from the team that won the Liga, Barcelona. How many of those players are playing in the national team? The, name me the top no, five no. players in, in the, the Barcelona the Liga. Won the league. Yeah, right. From those <laughs> players now in that team are playing for Barcelona. Who? Yeah, almost all of them. Alba, Gavi, right? Pedri, if he was fit. So, and then now you have the players coming from the uh, other side of the league, where you have Roger, who's one of the best midfielders in the world, right? Holy mids, defenders. Who do you have? Laporte. Laporte, Le Normand. Le Normand. Who? So Le Normand. That. Okay. He's Again. French, but now he's Spanish. And then uh, what, Jesus Navas Navas right back. Like you're literally getting some Jesus. of the best players. You're literally getting some of the best players from nah. the, from that league playing in the national team, right? Obviously performing. They were, they would easily. Do they want Yosulu up top? I think easily is kind of crazy, bro. Yeah, no, I think so. I think Madrid and Barca are easily better than the Spain national team. If you go player by player, I'd say like seventy percent Barca and Madrid take it, bro. You think? Yeah. Do you guys think that there's any top five league where no? Nope. The national team from that country can win the league. Nope. England definitely doesn't win. Nope. Man City would run them off the park. And look at all the players. They're all uh, foreign players. Honestly, France might be PSG. Yeah, I was thinking that. Maybe the French league. Because PSG be oh, bottling sometimes. Okay, France maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And France is talented. And they got depth too, bro. So yeah. France, France. Might I'll be go, France, I'll bro. Go France. But Italy. I don't know about any other league, Italy? to be honest. I don't think any other league. Italy, uh, no. No. Italy, they know. might because if... If, okay, was are we basing off last year? Because sure. if we're basing off last year, then probably Napoli beats them. But this year, or Inter possibly. This year, if Napoli's gonna lose a couple players, Inter might as well. Maybe they might. Nah, I don't think I don't think Italy wins I, in, no. in Serie. Nah. I got one. Uh, I got one for sure. Brazil definitely beats the Brazilian league. Well, team. yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Top five dude. leagues, man. Dude. <laughs> okay. We're it's talking like a top given, five especially league, when you have Ancelotti as your gaffer. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, I think it's all, I. I think the only like for sure one is is France. I think I, th- I think it'd be too. for sure Germany. I think. You think well, Germany? Germany too? Really? The yeah. Bayern. Bayern yeah, I mean, is basically Germany. I think if you look at it, like pretty much Germany is Bayern's best players and Dortmund's best players. Mm. Here, two best teams in the league. You're pretty much predominantly German the core, but then you're also taking players from other leagues. Other leagues as well. That's true. Yeah, maybe. So I think Germany would be Gundo pretty one. solid. So what's more likely, uh, Fran- France or, or Germany? I still think France. I think France. Yeah. Yeah, that seems pretty deep. Is that because Liga is the, like the weakest league of the five? No, because think? like you're getting like obviously you're getting Mbappe, sure. But then you're like there's so much French talent spread out throughout Other all leagues. the top leagues. Where I think like England, there's not really any English talent outside of England other than what Jude. 
Like Germany, there's not like there's a couple players, but not a lot. Spain, handful. Italy, almost no one other than Verratti. But these French lads are everywhere. You know, but French, yeah, there's facts. like top French players in Canotto. England. There's La top Liga. French players in La Liga. Top French players in in the Bundesliga in Italy too. Like so, like there's just so much talent like everywhere that I think that they would probably, they yeah. might even easily beat PSG because I think if you go player for player, I think like they probably take most. Yeah. Matchups to be and depth. Honest, I bet her depth is way better be than honest, PSG's right? as well. Like, yeah, I agree. Goalie wise, like I would probably take Magnon over Donnarumma for sure. Look at Spatty. He has to think about that one. <laughs> right, but, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Good question though. Let yeah. us know in the comments. What do you guys think? Yeah. Good question. All right, boys. I think we'll uh, <sighs> wrap it up there. there. Unless you guys got uh, well, one more thing, bro. Things. One more thing. Crazy that speed met Ronaldo. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That That's was a generational crazy. moment. Did you see him, bro? Yeah. He felt. Bro, man dropped to his knees. Bro, he, bro. He, he, like, oh. for That's someone for someone who like fell in love with the sport like that quick, like a, like a couple that, years yeah, ago, but, but just from like a meme kind of thing. Good for him. It's crazy. And like it shows that he actually like was like starstruck and not just yeah. like, no, hundred percent. You know what? It, you know, you know, you could tell he was actually starstruck because usually he plays a character. You know, yeah. he's a character, but that's how, like you can tell that was so like. Real and like he was like he was shaking, bro. He was shaking. He was like, relax. He's like, <laughs> even the picture, bro. Like he couldn't stand still. He yeah, was like, bro. he was like, like he couldn't stand still. <laughs> but when they did the suey together, nah, it's yeah. crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. No, for Ronaldo to do that was crazy. And actually, Ronaldo did that with a fan on the field too. Did you see that? Oh yeah. no, the fan freaking grabbed him and lifted him. For fan and lifted him. I thought Ronaldo was gonna get mad. He was smiling the whole time. And then after that, he they did the they did the the suey, the suey as well. Yeah. Some people are saying That's that crazy. the pitch invader was staged. orchestrated. I heard of that really because yeah. Messi did it before, right? Well, like I'm all like, because yeah, yeah. A pitch like, invader came to came like to the game hug yet. Messi or whatever, yeah. and like people are saying that Ronaldo orchestrated. No this just way, Messi, bro! I can see like, it. No way. Um, the security like they let him be with Ronaldo <laughs> for way too long. The way too long. Um, like they let him get away easy. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's true or not, but like, there's there's clues. I, 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 I wouldn't be, I wouldn't you be never surprised know. if that happened. To be honest, <laughs> hey, that's football. It's I get just it, uh, who, looks, who looks better on it's for entertainment. Yeah. Lads. Oh, yeah. That's that was pretty good for uh, even Leal, <laughs> bro. Leal best assist, bro. <laughs> bro, man, <laughs> stop the car. Like, hold on, <laughs> pull it all to come out. No. <laughs> that they're was so saying, funny. They're saying speeds the donor had like um like the kickoff. Um, Rui Costa had like the second assist. Oh yeah, Rui Costa brought him. Down yeah, I threw the elevator garage. to the garage. Bro, yeah. It was so funny because he was he was saying something on Twitch. I was watching it on TikTok. Bro, he can't re- he can't pronounce anyone's names, bro. <laughs> he's the thanks to Rui Ru- 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 Costa. Yeah, thanks to Rui Ru- Costa. Can, no, he doesn't, he doesn't call him Rui Costa. He calls him president. He calls him president. Thanks to the president. <laughs> he doesn't even know who he's talking to. Yeah, no, but later like, on, he said his name wrong, and then he says Raphael Leo. Leo. <laughs> Raphael, my 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 boy, my savior. He said like that. <laughs> my brother. Raphael. He's not wrong, bro. Because yeah. without Leo, if Leo wasn't there, bro, he's not Raphael. He's learned his name, bro. You're calling me your brother. He's calling yeah, Raphael. He does that on purpose. He's calling Raphael Leo. Yeah, it's, on purpose. It, it's fun pronouncing names a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there, there, there was another TikTok quickly before we end. Of uh, he was going through like pictures of people were sending him, and it was a picture of him like like kind of like shaped like he was small, and he was like with Ronaldo. Oh yeah. Did you see that one? Yeah. He said, "Guys, stop this! <laughs> stop this right now! Like, this is the only picture I want you guys not to do anything to. Like, this is I have this in my background. You can stop. Like he was actually serious. <laughs> I have this in my background. It's crazy. Don't mess with this picture, man. This means everything to me. But now nah, that was emotional, man. Yeah, no, like, you, you could tell emotional. like it was genuine, like happiness, whatever, yeah. like meeting him, and like and it's a crazy moment. It all came from one person donating, saying "Suey." Yeah. No, well, no, no, he, he said like Fortnite. he what, asked what soccer suey. slash football, oh, yeah, like team that. or player, like do you support? He's like Cristiano Ronaldo, Suey. suey. Yeah. And that, it all came from that. That's. Crazy. But then you realize the love actually came after that. Like that was, it wasn't actually just a joke. It was he actually true. does research. Like he did a lot of research on Ronaldo. Yeah. And he watched games. He went to games. Started playing. He did like a lot of them. A lot playing. of Portugal games. Yeah, yeah, he went to a lot. Main night. Got unlucky. Saudi bro. Arabia to watch games. Yeah, and he wouldn't have seen him here if it wasn't for Rafael Leo. Yeah, yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Shout out yeah. Speed Man. Shout out Speed, speed bro. Generational entertainment. If you're watching this, bro. Suey. Shell Leo. <laughs> Shell President. Shout out, Mr. President. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I think we'll wrap it up there, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot more stuff coming out yeah. in the transfer market, man. A lot of players still going to. Uh, Making the way to Saudi Arabia, but that's for another podcast. Yeah, boys. Yeah. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. You know who we are. The culture. The culture, man. Later, boys. Sui. 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 Later. Shout out my boy, Rafael Leo. Dude, dude. Guy
call him the president. Turn it off. Mr. President.